All right, so we've done a lot of food prep in the vacuum sealer, but let's talk about your bar. You can also infuse some bar items, right? Absolutely. You can do a lot of infused liquors, simple syrups, a lot of different flavor profiles that benefit your cocktail program. The bartender might be using some seasonal herbs or ingredients. Yeah, do you pair some of your drinks with food items on your menu? Yeah, absolutely. So then you can also take some of the similar flavors and infuse them that way. Right, you always, we always kind of want to try to work uh, with seasonal things that are going on, and you always want to try to have a few cocktails that, that'll, that'll line up flavor profile-wise with, with some of the dishes on the menu. So what do we have here? So this is, this is uh, just some cucumbers, some basil and gin mm -hmm. that we are <clears throat> gonna do an infusion to make some basil cucumber gin that will later be used in a few different cocktails. One is just a nice uh, spring, kind of early summer gin tonic. Uh -huh. right. So we're gonna take this out. Right Why here. are you taking that, that part out? So we wanna create as much depth as we, as we can in the chamber uh, whenever you're vacu vacuum sealing liquids just to kind of make it harder for the liquid to get suck, sucked out. Mm -hmm. so. right, here we go. Put this in. There it is. So as you can see, the basil and the cucumbers have already mm -hmm. started to change color a little bit. That's because the, the gin has been pressed into them, so. So after it has infused, do you strain it out? How do you extract it? Yeah, you would liquor? probably strain this out, and put it back into a bottle, make it easier to, to pour and, uh -huh. and use during service, absolutely. Well, is it five o'clock yet? <laughs> <laughs> so let's give it a go, see what happens. How long do you let that sit? Oh, you can let this sit as long as you want. Okay. Let's say easily wait, wait a good half an hour, 40 minutes before you, uh, before you use it. Mm -hmm. But the longer, you know, the longer it's in there, the more you're gonna infuse that, those flavors. Mm. Just take on the color too? Yeah, it's definitely gonna bleed oh, some of that, that yeah. green out. Give it a nice uh, green hue yeah. or tint. All right, so we're gonna drop some, some cucumber down in. Maybe a little ice. Put a little fresh basil down in there nice. as well. And we're going to put our infused gin over. And a little bit of tonic. So here's your infused gin and tonic with cucumbers and basil. All right, cheers. Mm. Ooh, that's tasty. Yeah, you can really taste the basil and cucumber. It's a good refreshing summer summer Absolutely. cocktail. Good twist on a classic classic gin tonic. Mm -hmm.